So I want to talk about basic technique of holding a pick and plucking one string at a time for single note playing. What you want to do is to get your forefinger bent almost like three sides of a square. You can see that. And then put your thumb to where it's flush. Your finger is flush with the bottom of the thumb. And then you put the pick on the side of the forefinger like that and the thumb encloses over top of it. So you have the point of the pick straight down from the thumb and you want to focus on this front wedge. Like if I put my pencil right up there, that's where you want to catch the string right in that wedge. And you want to always use the edge of the pick you hardly ever would want to play on the flat part of the pick. It doesn't sound very good, and you get a lot of resistance. It kind of sticks on the string. You want to use the edge of the pick like you would use the edge of a knife. And if my pencil, if you can imagine that's the string, I'm coming at it catty corner and catching the string with both my thumb and the pick. So the thumb is rubbing the top of the string and the pick is behind the string. And then when I pluck, I pluck out. It's like an airplane taking off from a, a runway. You go directly up with your wrist. You want to kind of swing the wrist around like that. So if I demonstrate on the guitar, a good way to warm up is with open strings. So we learn to find the string and catch it catty corner right in that wedge. And then it's like, again, like you, you're plucking the string from a resting position and then plucking outward like that around and back. And notice I'm kind of prepping. I call that planting the pick. So I plant the pick for a moment before I play. Plant, play. And I would do that in an equal rhythm. So you would rest, play. Rest, play. And then if you change strings, you'll play one string and plant on the next. So now I'm going to go back to the first string. I plant on the first string before I play it. So you always plant on the next string that you're going to. And you want to work on accuracy and the thumb is always rubbing the top of the string. You don't hear anything, but what that gives you is a sense of security that you can feel. You get a little touch sensitivity to where you can feel the string that you're playing. Because if, if only the pick is touching the string, you don't know if you've got that much pick under the thumb or this much pick, but if you, your thumb is touching with the pick, it becomes more accurate. That's much like the way when we play classical guitar with our fingernails, we catch the string right at the corner of the nail with the nail and the flesh so that the flesh touches the string as we pluck. And when you pluck a string, you always want to go diagonally. It's like petting your cat. You, know, you want to stroke the string. And that's a really good way of thinking about it. Swing out, around with the wrist, and, you know, at first make big motions and learn to find the string accurately each time, and you'll be much more relaxed and accurate and then you, you can apply that to scales playing all down strokes or down and up strokes but with every stroke I can feel the skin of my thumb rubbing the top of the string it's not plucking the string it's not behind the string, it's just on top of it. And that gives me a sense of security.
to where I don't feel like I've got to do this or do this to keep my hand steady. I can move my hand around freely and still feel where I'm at. I, I get a sense of touch, a sense of reference to find the strengths. So play around with it, have fun with it, just start out simple with open strings and go from there. You can do riffs, maybe play an open string and then try the Peter Gunn riff. But try to be consistent on how your pick strikes the strings. You know, you want to be uh, very relaxed and let it flow. That's how we do it.